Today we are looking at wind turbines. Are they worth it? I am Johannes. Welcome back to my channel. I love renewable energy. In South Africa, solar panels are absolutely taking over. Wind power, on the other hand, is mostly installed in commercial scale and not too much for private homeowners. This could be the cost, but also the fact that wind turbines are noisy and considered an eyesore. But most importantly, the wind does not blow consistently everywhere. There are however windy areas in our country where it could make sense. So let's dive into the more technical side of it. Wind power is a factor of the velocity cube, meaning if the wind velocity doubles, there is 8 times more power available in the wind. There is however a catch. Not all of the available power in the wind can be extracted. The wind that has passed the turbine of which some energy has been extracted slows down. This slow down air must get out of the way of the oncoming wind and the BETS limit shows us that a conventional wind turbine has a maximum theoretical limit of 59.3% of the available wind power. This being the theoretical limit, most wind turbines only get between 30 and 40%. The bigger commercial scale wind turbines, a bit more. What would your next steps be to determine what size of turbine you require and if it would be financially viable for you? Firstly, we will have to determine your household's base load. Most households average between 350 and 600 watts. So let's choose 600 watts for this calculation. Next, you will need to decide what percentage of your base load you would like to cover. In this example, we would like to cover 100% of our base load. Finally, you will need to find out the average wind speed in your area. For our area, it's around 5 meters per second, which is about 18 kilometers per hour or 11.2 miles per hour. The available wind power is then calculated as follows. Power equals half times the coefficient of performance times the density of the air times pi times radius squared times velocity cubed. For this example and assumptions, a wind turbine with a diameter of roughly 5 meters will be required if you want to cover your 600 watt base load with an average 5 meters per second wind speed. This is clearly quite a big wind turbine and looking at what is available in the market, you'll see that the rated power for a wind turbine of this size is around 5 kilowatts. This is where people get quite annoyed, as the 5 kilowatt wind turbine rated wind speed at which it can produce 5 kilowatt output is around 10 meters per second, 36 kilometers per hour or 22.4 miles per hour. This metric is many times overlooked and people disappointed when they purchase a 600 or 700 watt wind turbine and it doesn't produce the rated output power that they purchased it for. Buying a 5000 watt wind turbine just to get a mere 600 watts from it with your average wind speed of 5 meters per second will be quite an expensive exercise and is why people rather opt for more solar panels and batteries if the average wind speed is not too promising. So if you are considering buying a 600 watt wind turbine in a 5 meters per second average wind speed area, you will have to expect a production of between 70 and 80 watts with peaks of 600 watts only when the wind speed exceeds 10 meters per second, which is 36 kilometers per hour or 22.4 miles per hour. This does not mean that wind turbines for private homes does not make sense. Some areas have higher average wind speeds and may be windy at night, which can be a very good financial investment even if only partially covering your base load of your home. Wind turbines for homes really helps a lot when it's windy weather with no sunshine. If you have any questions that you would like to be addressed, please leave a comment below and let's discuss. Thanks for joining me in this video. Smash that like and notification button and you will see me next time.